Okay, men, here's the bottom side of the adventure. I've checked every component on this thing with the 260, the Fluke 289, and the triplet 666. And this is interesting. Just remember, I modified mine. I don't know if you can see the switch right here. Okay, which removes R11. Um because R11 is mounted inside the uh, modulator after the modification. But I like to be able to switch back and put it back in circuit if I don't want to use the modulator, okay? And the switch lives right there inside the case. Sorry if it's not in focus. There, there we go. Okay, I checked every capacitor, lifted legs, every capacitor, Every connection in here is good. So now this is interesting. I'll show you uh, the voltage using my Fluke 289 on the key line, which of course is diminished on this side, right? It's only going to be 2.4 volts because um, that's from the power from the uh, optocoupler side. But from the key side right there, which is pin 5, okay, on on the oscillator, 220 volts, okay? Now this is interesting. Let's look at the same voltage using the Fluke 260, which has 20,000 ohms uh, per volts in DC, back to pin five. Look at that, Let's see if I can get it in focus. Just shy of uh, 140 volts. Okay, now let's look at the triplet 666 on the same junction, pin 5. I don't know if you can see that, but it's only 80 volts. So I think there's nothing wrong with this thing. It's the meter that is the only difference. I'm going to button it back up. Put it on the air and just be done with it. Thanks for your help, man. I guess I have a few more seconds to uh, give you a little tour here. I made a few mods using um, Janice's uh, sheet here. But typically, uh, I did basically what Dean did and some others with the power supply.